Hello everyone, this is Jack Frost with your daily update for the Ethereum Technicals and Solana. For the Ethereum Technicals, price has begun to move up very slowly with a piercing pattern at this last low where price found support at 3200 Price increases and moves away with overall sideways movement for the very short term. Volume for the very short term supports downwards movement with a push on these bearish candlesticks just here, though for the last two completed bullish candlesticks, there is a steady increase in volume, though volume is still overall lower for bullish candlesticks. For the midterm, volume is strongest on these bullish candlesticks just here, supporting upwards movement for the midterm. On balance volume now moves within a narrow range. Previous support is now resistance. Price has found this resistance point again and may give a bullish signal if it breaks above this resistance point or a bearish signal if it reacts and moves down. RSI is neutral. Money flow also neutral. Neither RSI or money flow exhibit divergence at this time frame and both have a ways to go before they may enter overbought or oversold. ATR has overall increased as price declined previously, though now it declines as price moves sideways for the very short term. As ADX declines, we use the model of stochastics and support and resistance. This model suggests an upward swing may occur at this point towards resistance, up towards 3680 or 3890, where price finds these resistance points, where stochastics enters overbought. On the main Solana daily chart, price has overall declined for what is labeled primary wave 4, currently with an intermediate wave C, and within that minor wave 5. Minor wave 4 is labeled complete at this last short term high just here, an Elliott channel drawn around the minor degree movements from the end of minor wave 2 to the end of minor wave 4 with a copy on the end of minor wave 3. If minor wave 4 continues any higher, this channel will have to be redrawn, and this channel may also provide support for minor wave 5 as it continues lower. If minor wave 4 does continue any higher, it cannot move into minor wave 1 price territory at 161.1862. And with primary wave 4 moving price lower, it has a target calculated at 117.4360, the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of primary wave 3. On this daily alternate chart, primary wave 4 is labeled a either barrier or contracting triangle. Whereas on the main wave count, it is labeled a single zigzag, as the single zigzag is the most common corrective structure, and with the data that we have here, it has the best fit. Though this is still a good alternate, currently expecting intermediate wave D to move price higher. A confidence point is at 161.1862, as that is the invalidation for the main wave count. As if price moves above this point, it cannot fit with the main wave count. With intermediate wave D moving any higher, it cannot move above the start of intermediate wave B at 188.0915. And eventually, intermediate wave E and primary wave 4 are expected to move price lower, most likely falling short of the AC trend line, which is standard for a contracting triangle. On the Solana technicals for the short term, price consolidates within resistance at 190 and support between 127 and 118. A bullish engulfing pattern at this last low here sees price now increasing and moving away. For the short term, strongest volume is on the bearish candlestick supporting downwards movement, though a push on this most recent bullish candlestick supports upwards movement for the very short term. For the midterm, volume overall is strongest on these upwards candlesticks just here, supporting upwards movement for the midterm. On balance volume moves within an expanding range. This range has not been long held, has quite a noticeable slope and only the minimum two tests for both support and resistance, meaning a breakout from this range at this point will not be a very strong signal. Though at this point, price has reacted to support just here, giving a slight bullish signal. RSI is neutral and increasing, it's quite squarely in the middle, giving it room to move up or down. Money flow is also neutral and increasing, both have a ways to go before they may enter overbought or oversold. Additionally, neither exhibit divergence at this time frame. As ADX is declining, we use the model of stochastics and support and resistance. Stochastics entering oversold where price previously found support. Stochastics now increasing, suggesting an upward swing may occur at this point towards resistance at 157 or 175, where price may find these resistance points where stochastics may enter overbought. That's all for me with your daily update for Solana and the Ethereum technicals. If you want the Ethereum Elliott Wave count, we have done an update for that today. You can sign up for that today at pureelliottwave.com. Thank you, and I hope everyone has a good day.